I'm sure I'm going to shock my Democrat colleagues when I speak very positively about each of these nominees, because often that's not the case. I'm going to start with General Hayton. I think the word mainstream is thrown around too often to describe judicial nominees who clearly hold activist judicial philosophies. It's a word that people use to cover up extremism. This is an unusual hearing in that General Hayton, I think, I see as a mainstream nominee. The best I can tell, he's exactly the kind of circuit judge I'd expect to be nominated by a Democrat president. He'd have been right at home under Obama or Clinton. In fact, in many ways, General Hayton reminds me of a Trump nominee. He graduated from a good law school, clerked on the Supreme Court. He has diverse experience ranging from private practice to academia to public service. And as Virginia's Solicitor General, he's advocated zealously on behalf of his clients, the Commonwealth of Virginia, to defend the laws that the people of Virginia have enacted. I'm sure I won't agree with every opinion of uh, this nominee. Uh, as he writes, uh, if he is confirmed as a judge, I bet I don't agree with his politics. As a moderating force on the uh, Fourth Circuit, which is an activist court that's well outside the mainstream of federal appeals courts, with a Democrat president in, the, uh, in a state with two Democrat colleagues who are here. I'm not sure that we could hope for anything better than a smart, experienced liberal with misfortune of extensive experience uh, before uh, the increasingly erratic Fourth Circuit. Ms. Giles and Judge Nakmanoff uh, also seem like well-qualified picks for their seats. Ms. Giles is a prosecutor of considerable renown, while Judge Nachmanoff uh, was uh, previously the federal defender in his court. He has a judicial record that we can evaluate as a magistrate judge. This will help us see if he's a Bill of Rights judge, like uh, dozens of public defenders who recently came out in support of the Second Amendment before the Supreme Court or a criminal defense judge like this uh, administration, other picks. The same can be said for Connecticut, where Judge Williams is also a former public defender with a judicial record, and Ms. Nagala is a well-known prosecutor. Ms. Nagala has argued against some basic constitutional rights under the Second Amendment, though I'll probably want to ask her about that. Lastly, Mr. Dellinger, who's been nominated to run the Office of Legal Counsel. We had a good conversation and I'm uh, over the phone and I'm eager to learn more about his views of the Justice Department.